everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Halo Wars! You know, we can't start a video without that intro flying at you. It needs to happen. And today, we're going to be talking, or at least these, we're going to be watching two videos, I should say, about Marines. Because Marines are this unit in Halo Wars that I've always liked. Because they're, you know, it's that sort of old war you know, just send the cannon fodder, send them, march them in, throw rockets, grenades, that sort of thing. However, in Halo Wars, they're used sparingly, in a way. And in this match, it, we're all UNSC, it's 14, so you know, it's the classic, you can turtle, you can grab the walls, you can go for rushes. But here we don't have to worry about anything about Covenant rushes and stuff like that. My teammate says he's going for Spartan Grizzlies, which is a very interesting thing. And I say, okay, I'm gonna Marine. So I'm Cutter. I get the free base upgrade right away. I have Elephants, which is my unique unit. And I have ODST. And, and my, my teammate's like, oh, <laughs> oh no. I don't know if he, um, and then he's asking, do, do I need to build units? And this is something he does. He just sends his Spartans out and just tries to kill everything with them. Whereas I watched kind of a pro player play Halo Wars. Now, I don't know how many pro players there really are in, in this game, but I did watch one and he went for a very interesting tactic. And I sort of, I've, I've taken that and I've adopted it in a little bit of a way. So first things first, we go for the elephant straight away. Now it's not the first time, I mean, it kind of has it. It's basically as if you're building a mobile barracks. So you can only build one building at a time on a base. And this way I'm making a barracks and something else at the same time. So we send that straight through. And again, one of the problems with Marines is that they just don't have a way to get over anywhere quick. They're very slow, which is a bit of a shame. And the meta in this game is Warthogs. Normally you'd be on two or three, maybe even four Warthogs at this point, And you'd be getting Gunner. You'd probably have a racked up, we're getting Gunner now. This time, however, we're getting our elephant out. We're teleporting, bleh, teleporting it across the map. I'm getting my second elephant now. We're going to do exactly the same with that. And I don't have to worry about saving up for a base upgrade because I got that for free. That's, you know, that's 400 resources off the bat. My Warthog's doing its best to grab as many resources as possible. And I'm going to secure the teleporter on the other side. Now, we've all played against that cutter who just doesn't do anything and just goes for tech level four ODST and thinks that's that's the pro play. <laughs> and I don't I don't know why they do it. Enemy but if you're playing a high level game in Halo Wars, you know, uh, going for ODST is not something that anyone ever does because tanks are far quicker, far better, and it's just a better way of using your resources. So that's two elephants through. And now I'm going to take them closer to the base. I can see that white slash cream is going for his expo. I have a quick check to see if red is going for his expo. And I think he is too. They're both Anders. So that's something to worry about here. They're probably going to go for gorse warthogs. So I'm going to put my elephants as close as I can, kind of around the corner, you know, making the distance that my, re my marines have to travel very short. So we're basically all supply pads here. This is the first time I've ever done it. And I'm very conscious that I need to keep my, I need to keep building buildings as well as making Marines, as well as making elephants. And of course you can't do that all with the way this game is, you know, I don't have enough resources. So I'm just like, you know, we'll, we'll just plonk everything into Marines. They're, they're not upgraded at all. <laughs> uh, and that's something that my teammate and yeah, they're yellow, they're flaring up the uh, hogs that I've, I've already seen, but I, I don't have time to chat. I'm here making sure that every hundred resources I get is well spent. So there you go. He's actually already grabbed the yellow uh, sides, which is very interesting. I didn't think, maybe I should have grabbed the middle. I don't know. Now he's saying tan hogs. Oh, so he calls it tan. I wouldn't have called it tan. I'd say cream or white, but all right, then ta tan hogs it is. So there we go. Every hundred, we're getting more and more Marines. We're just amassing. We're becoming critical mass. We already have 20 out of our 30 population of Marines. Now bear in mind, they are, uh, they are, un um, if I can even speak, I apologize. They are unupgraded. They're tech level one. So they only have grenades and they are lacking a extra uh, member of their squad. 
And, you, you know, you could hang back. We could get upgraded Marines, but I don't think that's the point here. The point is to just get as many units out on the field as possible. That's what I like about it. Look at them go. Look at the march. Yes. And now that I can't make any more Marines and I'm marching over, I'm going to spend those resources into upgrading the supply pads. And I should have been doing that here right now. I'm, I'm just expecting Warthogs to fly at me and I want to throw grenades at them, but... Uh, it appears he didn't go for his expo. He just cleared it out, which is very interesting. So, there we go. And I see a tank from the uh, the forge. So, that's that's going to be a bit of a problem for me, especially with my elephants. Maybe I shouldn't have locked down because then my turrets can't fire, but now they can. And my marines are going to head over. I'm balancing out. <laughs> I don't, I don't, he's, going about, he's saying lol to me that I only have tech one marines. I'm like, dude, look at the grenades, though. Half health tank already. He's gonna flee. Yeah, look at that. He doesn't want to lose his 500 resources. Now, blue luckily is uh, putting pressure onto the red player over there, which is great. So I have extra resources and I've got some upgraded supply pads. I'm down an elephant. So, and he's saying I need RPG. Mate, I ain't got, uh, I haven't got new blood yet. <laughs> so I've lost an elephant. So I'm gonna make an elephant. I want to make sure that I can. Continuously make marines and 600 resources there from black to just kill my elephant and damage my marines. Which I guess was, it's a good trade, to be fair. It's a good trade because therefore I can no longer make marines. For as far as he's aware anyway. And it is unfortunately in this case true. But I've got an elephant in the works and now I've got enough resources that I don't need to worry. And I'm going to make a barracks so I can finally start grading stuff. Luckily, Blue has denied the expo, and I'm going to deny the expo over here. If I'd went the other way, it might have been better. And I think I said that. I'm like, damn, went the wrong way. <laughs> but I didn't know. I mean, they were both getting expos. I just didn't know that, you know, one of them was... Oh, what a beautifully placed carpet bomb there. I, I never noticed that. Killing two of the tanks on the enemy side. That's brilliant. So there we go. Upgrading the elephant again. So that's very good, very good that he managed to destroy uh, two of those tanks. But then again, I did grenade them, so you know. <laughs> and even though they are Tech 1 Marines, they're pretty good in these towers. So they, And they could continuously throw grenades, which is brilliant. So Blue there running, just keeping tabs on where everything is. I think he's got Grenadier Hogs at this point. Then again, he is forged, so he has a lot of resources. And here we go. Look, the tank is going to realize what a mistake it is to come over here because it's just grenade 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 from all of them <laughs> it's like oh dear and then blue comes to support me in with a tank which is brilliant that's going to alleviate some of the pressure they're very aware that we need to hold this 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 teleporter and there you go tan cream white has gorse hogs now very well played good job from the anders player there putting the pressure on i'm still on tech one marines because as you can see i'm, I'm spending as much resources as i'm as i'm getting I'm making marines, I'm making elephants, I'm just, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's all I could do here. Uh, and then there we go, they come back. I'm denying the expo, I'm stopping his production if he wants to do it. And that is another warthog gone, that's 300 resources. And to be fair, I think it's more really, because he's plowed all of the resources into upgrading them. And again, tech one. I think, oh wait, no, maybe I have bloodlines now. Yeah, oh, sorry, not bloodlines, Um, new blood. And there we go, I see that, I'm like... Oh, oh, I could have mac blasted it. But luckily, I'd split off some marines up top because I was expecting the tanks to come back and chase them. And I wanted to make sure I still had a presence here. Uh, Yellow says that he's his carpet bomb is at half. So I'm going to have to march my marines over there. And luckily, luckily, I'm going to get a grenade off here on this base that's still being made. And there we go. And one more half health. And... He recycles it, giving me stars, and he's also Enemy lost engagement. about 400 resources Enemy there. So, complete waste by him. And these Gorse Warthogs are going to come in, destroy one elephant. But again, now these Marines are getting upgraded. They're getting stars, they're getting upgrades. We'll see how this goes. At the moment, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the progress we're making. I should be making an elephant there. I get a bit distracted. I'm not an MLG player, I'll admit. But we do have the walls, so we don't have to worry about them attacking us at all. We're on the complete Enemy offense engagement. at this point. And he's tracked down my uh, my marines. They try and throw grenades, but they're all being rammed, so there's nothing they can do. But at this point, I'm in a very good position. I can just 
get as many marines out as possible. I can upgrade my elephants now as well, which is going to be great. And I, I honestly, I've tried for the longest time to make marines work, but they just never do. However, with those elephants that can get over the other side, and also, Blue's now going for vultures, which is, I mean, I... <laughs> He could have just kept on going with tanks. And it probably would have been the better play. So I see that he's taken them out over there. And you know what? I've got enough resources. Why the hell don't I just pelican in some stuff? So there we go. Some marines are going on a lovely jaunt over there. He's got five tanks now. But no canister shell. He's just focused on getting numbers out there. He does take out one of my elephants. But I do have another one waiting in the wings to teleport through. He's going to back out. Probably to heal. Doesn't want to waste any resources. And get some veterancy if he kills enough marines. So good play on him. And uh, there they go. And I can just take the wall back. Brilliant! Oh, it's, it's great when a plan comes together. And I, I sort of forgot about that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, let's make another one. So we don't have RPG yet because we're only on tech level one. But I'm doing a good job here. I've, I've put pressure on. I'm getting the walls as well, sort of helping out. And we stopped tan, white, cream, whatever you want to call it getting its expo and i realize now i'm like wait i'm at max pop what <laughs> and they're back again my kun mac blast tan comes in from the left black on the right it's it's a pincer maneuver and it's looking dicey i'm not I, i'm not too happy here i don't know which one to focus on i've lost my elephants it's not looking good panic starts to set in and i'm thinking do i get one of these and i'm like oh no i should have been grenading what the hell's going on and the Warthogs decide to back off, which is very interesting. I thought they would. And with all my extra resources, I start to think, maybe I should go for an expansion. I'll go for an expo. We'll see if, you know, if things go well, then I can keep on with the Marines and I can just make something else. Or if things go badly, at least I've got another base and I can switch to tanks. And just as all hope seems lost, Yellow comes in with his, like, two-star Spartan tanks. <laughs> and just lays waste to everything else. And luckily, luckily, my Marines in the towers stay up as well. And there you go. Just They do manage to get through. But with the Vulture there as well. Oh, God, one Warthog taken out. Beautiful. And then his tanks go down. I think Black now has canister shell. The expo from Tan Local is units. up. Looking like a good game so far. But all his warthogs are on my side. Or our side, I should say. If we can just quickly grab that wall, we can lock them in our side. Local units. So I've got one Marines over here. Just put it there. <laughs> to throw some grenades. <laughs> Oh, uh, Blue's not very happy with us. He's like, oh, teammates, what are you doing? Oh, wait, you're just letting them take down my expo. Well, at the same time, I, I will say that you're the one that decided to go for vultures. I think my tactic, it's pretty sound, pretty sound. It's working. Eventually, we'll start to pelican things around and I can just help out. And I, I was all about the pressure. That's what I, I, I made them have to attack. I made Black have to go for his... Um, What'd you call them? His tanks without upgrades. Now we've got rotation turrets from yellow. Look at that. Look at that. And he's... I don't know what he's doing there. I think... Oh, he's seen that Tan's attacking his base. And he's hes going up to, uh, to help out there. Which is fair enough. Blue's lost his expo. I don't think I... I think I made some buildings on my base. I can't remember. But there we go. Oh, Red gets some tanks. But with the vulture there, I don't think... Are they going to be able to take down one elephant? Ah, I can never keep two up. <laughs> and I see a two-star marine in that, that tower. And I think, you know what? I'll, I'll heal it. It's worth it. Especially with the upgrades coming through now. I need that. I need that to stay up. And we're just getting supply pads on that base, as well as another reactor eventually. And I'm starting to think about pelicking up here. Because if I just get enough, you know, he doesn't have any anti-air. I can just be a little bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> And there you go, the vultures don't have a problem. They're up there. The Spartan tanks come in. They destroy a lot of Tan's warthogs. Tan's split now. You can see at the right of the map, he's got some trying to help out, but they can't get through the gate. And he's just got some warthogs stuck now at the other side. And there we go. Canister shell from him. 
And some grenades missing. But again, you can waste your canister shell on my marines. That's fine. They, they cost me nothing. <laughs> and if you're not, if you're using on my marines, I'd rather that than the elephant or the other tanks. Then comes a vulture with its volley ability recharged. And a second vulture comes in now. <laughs> An RPG! I'm like, yeah, there we go. I can actually do some damage with my Y ability. And accurately as well, which is important because grenades can miss. Especially with um, warthogs and stuff like that. So there we go. Enemy engagement. Now the plan. Oh, here we go. And Tan is split. And Tan leaves. Afterwards, I chatted with him. And he said that he just had half his army on the other side. And there was just nothing he could do. Like, he was just going to fodder those off. And because he's warthogs, it's going to take a long time for him to get that number back. Unless he goes for reserves, which probably isn't. And I think now with the walls up, my upgrade's coming in. Two vultures there ready to threaten the air any way they see fit. He saw the writing on the wall. He was like, it's just going to be a slow slog until I get my marine units up to ODST. And then I come in and kill things. And two vultures there attacking the back of his base. They can't get the expos at the sides, so they're, they're limited to only two expos. And I'm like, no, 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 I want to come in. No, don't leave. Not yet. Please. <laughs> come on. Come on. Get over there, guys. No, no, six of them in there. I don't know how many units a pelican can carry. But look, I'm part of it. I'm coming in. <laughs> and then they resign. And of course I come last. But that that is not the point here. The point is, I won. I supplied... The, the power there, and I make a little comment right in there. <laughs> Came dead last. Sweet. On to the second video. So, we are facing up against All this units. exact same team, and I go for supply pad, elephant straight away, and scout out the base just to see if we can, if it's an easy um, supply thing or if it's a bit difficult. There's two loadouts. One of them's a lot harder, where the resources are closer to the rebel bases and you can't get them without being shot and one is a lot easier and i think we've got the easier one here so they know what i'm going for we have covenants now because i think they realize maybe one of them preferred playing as a covey so they decide to swap but i'm going in this knowing they're, they pad. they have an idea Wait. of what i'm gonna do and it's gonna pan out a little bit differently you'll see You'll see. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it. You're gonna watch the end. I need the watch time. <laughs> so uh, I think it might be a bit of a difficult one. I'm not too sure with the resources loadout, but Yellow gets his elephant up as well, which I'm very surprised about. Very interesting. Not too sure what he's got planned with it, but we'll see. I've got my alpha now. The last game missing the cryo was rough, apparently. I think that was just because he couldn't cryo the uh, vultures. But I don't know how much of a difference that would have made. Pad complete. He was already so heavy into the Orders. tanks at that point. Right Maybe away. he could have killed one, right I suppose. Frozen my marines and stuff, but we'll see now. Yes, Although, he says cryo. They, two of them were Anders, so I'm really not too sure what the plan is here. So I'm sending through my elephant again. You know, we'll tank a few shots. A few RPGs, but look at that. Basically no damage. And I'm just going to put some marines into this. Really, you could just send your elephant straight up, but I'm very aware that there's a Covenant and his ghost is very close too. So even though I shouldn't really be doing this, I'm going to do it anyway. As long as I can keep production of marines up or elephants in tandem with buildings... That's what. That's the plan here. And there we go. The ghost has seen it. And I'm aware that this army's probably going to make his way over. And he might rage down my elephant. And that's not good. So, um, I'm at a race now. I'm thinking, oh god. Oh god, we got it. We got it. And I see Red's got a warthog up top. He might be spying on me, seeing what I'm doing. And he's already doing sad face. <laughs> I think he's seen. He's seen what I'm doing. I can see him there. Just above. Moving. And he's moved off Stand now. By. And there we go. So we've got those. Yep, he's still up there. And that is us. Sh <laughs> Shakira. Shakira, apparently, I was going for. And the Arby's coming over. I see it. I see it. I'm like, oh, that was a rage. Okay, never mind. Lockdown. Lockdown. I made a mistake. <laughs> but 
There we go. Locked down. Start making marines as many as possible. Now, I could have went for flamers, but it takes, I think, the RB only two rages to uh, take down a flamer, whereas I think it's three or four for marines. And I get that one through, and look at the damage already. This RB is dying to these garrison marines. He, I think he's tech one RB, but look at that. Absolutely desperate, especially with two elephants just firing on him. And look at this grunt. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, exploding grunt. Oh, God. Just, like, falling apart there, melting. And there we go. We secured it. And he, tr I don't know if he did it, but he tried to kill the RB there. I think he had an idea he was probably going to teleport away, but maybe he didn't get there in enough time. Local units. And now, now that I've we've secured that, I'm going to roll everything up to Purple's base and try and push. Red is coming to our base. It depends. Whoever puts the first pressure is going to control the course of the battle. So Cyan's already there. And Red is now trying to put pressure on Cyan. I thought he was going for me, thinking that I was a bit of a, a problem. But he doesn't. He actually goes for Cyan, strangely enough. And I think Cyan, yeah, Cyan's got shielded wraiths, which is a very good call for Warthogs. Very good. More lols from Yellow. A player who only goes for Spartans. <laughs> I mean, going for Spartans, getting uh, prestige on them. You know, attacking rebel bases. It's something I, I feel like you can only do if you know the opponents are either very bad or, in this case, you've got good teammates and you're allowed the, the luxury of like, mm, I'm just going to get stars on my spawns. Because if a brute chieftain or an arby comes over and rages them down, that's it. You've, you, you've spent so much on them. And there we go. The marines are up. The elephants are chugging away. I have decided not to go for a single reactor there and i make the decision to oh it, it's now time it is now time and that's something you've got to be prepared for in halo wars you've got to know that sometimes deleting buildings is the right thing to do it may seem counterproductive and you may glitch your economy but still and there we go i just want to make sure that's gone there we go i probably could have only went for one grenade there but i'm multitasking here i'm like yep just get it done and we have another one and i'm gonna lock that elephant down over there while these two are here and unfortunately, maybe I could have went for a heal on one of them. But this this elephant decides to glitch out and just keeps on deploying and undeploying, which is a bit of a nuisance because I would be able to get Marines up a little bit quicker and supply that support for Cyan's Brute Rush or Wraith Rush in this case. And there you go. I see that his RB not only has a star now, but has upgraded his Rage. And what's going to be good about that is RB never wants to Rage down Marines because it's a waste of resources. It takes about 90 or so, maybe even more, just to hold the rage, to take down a marine squad. Especially if they've got upgrades on them. It's just not something you want to rage. It doesn't feel good doing it either, as an RB, like, ah, ah, oh, this is horrible. <laughs> Bogged down. Uh, but tanks are coming over from blue to help support purple. And I have four elephants up at this point. And we're going to send these marines in waves. And there we go. I see his Arby raging me. I'm like, yeah, sure. Go for it, dude. Go for it. I don't care. <laughs> Grenade! And the tanks come over to attack me. And there we go. That's two warehouses gone. And it's all about pressuring one player. If we can get one player out, that means that, you know, the game turns into 3v2 instead of 2v3. Uh, here we go. Just just place these guys down. I noticed that heal, and I was going to attack him, but he leaves it anyway. I think he decides that just taking care of these marines is, is a better idea. I'm like, no, you don't. You're losing that health, dude. <laughs> and I think at that point, he's thinking, okay, the marines are gone. It's just Cyan. Not knowing that my elephants are just sat outside his base. Just out of his uh, field of vision. So, we're going to send the next squad, but actually I decide not to. I think, hold on. They haven't seen me at this point. They don't know I'm here. If I just wait a little bit, they could really get a whole platoon of Marines and just go over there. Marines reporting for duty. Base and again, it, it's it's a Enemy bit of a tricky engaged. situation here. Like, uh, Red's putting pressure on me, but luckily Orange comes over to help because I have no defense. I, I think I have an elephant in the, in the works there, so maybe I could have just had that get out and just 
plonk over a side. And again, that, that yellow is just like, yeah, I'll make a tank, and but mainly, my Spartans are going to kill things. And here we go, we're doing good. I'm almost at pop cap. There we go. And they still have no idea I'm here. And they do say that maybe I should have went for upgrades, but I, I think I did all right here. I mean, I could have went for upgrades, but that would have slowed down my production of Marines. And there you go, Blue's discovered it, so now I just have to. The Arbiter's away. I don't think he was thinking about pressure up here. He was thinking about, okay, I'm going to go to the other side and start attacking. But look at this. That's got to be so annoying. <laughs> Why did you get your warehouse up? I'm like, ah, it's gone. <laughs> Dead. And we're going to run to the back of the base. So the Arbiter has to waste time coming for us. And then anybody that's got grenades left, I'm pretty sure you have to just stop taking that down. So we finally made his supply pads back. That wraith's stopped one pad going up. I've destroyed two at this point. And now I can start to upgrade my marines. And that's probably the mo most important thing is getting getting them out here. And then his orbiters here. And we just grenade him. Oh, look at the damage. <laughs> and a foul play from yellow here. <laughs> he tries his best, but the army gets out of there. I mean, that just shows he's got Spartans. He, uh, you know, he, he's, he's not worried at all. He's like, 600 resources? Bah! Throw that away. Local units. <laughs> and it, that, that mag blast would have been way better for the temple there. And I realized that, oh, wait, he's only got one building. If I take this out, that's 500 resources gone. But I just don't have the supplies. And yellow and cyan have a little match of hating each other here. And that's because cyan thinks that he tried to kill... Him, oh, sorry, yellow. Sad thinks yellow tried to kill him, which is not the case. Anyway, <laughs> my marines get destroyed, but they're not over, no, because we've just got new blood, and we've got these two elephants here. So even though I lost those two, the enemy's probably thinking, oh, okay, thank God I can breathe a little bit here. We took out his elephants. He's probably going to be getting an expo, putting money into that, or something like that. And that is just not the case. Because my strategy... Oh, God. Yeah, I was going to say, my strategy here was to get Marines and then Pelican them up top. But they do they know that I'm probably here because they faced me before in the previous game. And yeah. Three blue tanks. Red tanks arrive. It's, uh, yeah, it's not looking good for me at all. <laughs> but, you know, we're going to hold it out. We got this. And he's, he's just cycling in the tanks, in and out when one's almost dead. Just move away. Good tactic. Red decides to go for the elephants, which again, best thing to do. You take out the elephant, you stop production. And they're going to do that because I don't think they were upgraded uh, elephants anyway. And we're just going to grenade. Use our grenades while we can, just to inflict some damage. New Blood's going to help with those garrison marines a little bit. You can see, like, look at that. Three tanks shooting at him. Oh, four tanks, never mind. And at this point, I think, okay, well, he's got <laughs> Spartans with two stars each. He just Open went around and took out three bases while I've been, and Cyan's been, supplying the pressure. <laughs> and then I realized, oh, wait, he, wait, what? He's got for Cobras? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so weird. What, what a strange thing to do. But at the same time, perfect. Because there's just tanks on the other side. And he's about to start researching piercing shot. And I get I get berated a little bit by Yellow, who's like, Come on, what are you doing? Get RPG. Like, dude, if you if you've seen how I'm playing here, I'm putting all my resources into everything. <laughs> I don't have I don't have time to just get cobras or walk around bases and shoot them with Spartans. I'm actually trying to supply pressure. <laughs> So we're getting our elephants back out again. Except for this time, I'm not going to put them through the teleporter. I'm just going to put them out here and secure our own. And I don't exactly know what Yellow's doing. He's just maneuvering his cobras so that they're not as close to the walls, which is interesting. But again, we've got the walls, which is good. And he says he wasn't planning on a longer game. But I don't know about you... <laughs> If you're just taking out the rebels, getting stars and your spawns, while letting your teammates 
attack, I think if you'd helped, it would have been over quicker. But hey ho, that's just me. <laughs> so we get our base up. And I mean, yes, luckily we have supplied the pressure, so he's allowed to do this. And he is really going to come in clutch here, especially with the number of tanks they have. Those Cobras are going to be amazing. And he's, he split them up so that a Cryo or a Carpet or whatever isn't going to be take <laughs> isn't going to be able to take all of them out. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna amass my resources, get that expo because the pressure's been taken off them Supply now. Bear. So I may as well upgrade my Fire stuff. Away. No point running in Marines now. They don't have RPG. So he Fire wants away. to get Enemy line of engaged. sight onto over there. And there you go. Oh, oh damn. Is the Arbiter going to teleport away? And then I'm like, oh, well, I did it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he had a feeling I was going to do that. And my elephant gets taken down. So he tells me to unlock because he wants to move up and get that line of sight. And I think, oh, well, if I'm going to do that, may as well grab the resources then. So he has piercing shot. He has two star spartans on him. Pretty darn good. We've got our reactor coming up so we can get RPG soon. But I'm not deviating from the plan. We've got Cyan's Wraiths waiting to come in as well, actually. Very, very good. And there you go. One Wraith comes in to try and get a line of sight. But the Cobras aren't set up yet. And I'm just going to amass Elephants and um, Marines here. Oh, and, and just as they come into the line of, line of sight, only one of the Cobras is set up. So brilliant. GG. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, but look at that. Oh, brilliant. Like, those tanks are... They're gonna die. And there you go. Three tanks. 1,500 resources just gone. Oh, RPGs uh, coming in from me. Just focusing on my expo as well. And I decide to go for adrenaline there. Because if I'm gonna have to move my... Re my oh my god. I can't even talk this episode. My marine... My marines around. I'm going to need uh, adrenaline for that. So there we go. And the pumping of the marines start. <laughs> I've said marines too many times this video. Pumping of the marines has started. And capturing of the teleporter as well. So we have... I think twin engines. I don't think I'm researching the turret. Yet. RPG research. And there's RPG. Oh. RPG. Is going to help out a lot here. Local unit. Especially as it means if they go for air, I can actually fire at them. I use the wire belt here. Can't throw grenades in here. And now, yeah, you can see I'm thinking about it. I see that he's got rotate rotation turrets, is it? So, I need to take... There it is. There's the turret. Yes, the mini turret. And it comes in clutch. Just here. Which is really good, actually. You know, there's some damage, and I noticed they all went for air. Okay. That's not the worst. And he's... Yeah. Yeah. Yellow. Uh-oh. Indeed, right? It's like they saw your Cobras and quickly changed. Wow. <laughs> but look. Almost half damage on that Hornet going in one by one. You can tell they're stressed if they're doing that. So. All I need to do is just keep getting my Marines. And get up there. Get up top. Because even though Marines have the rock, paper, scissors advantage over air, really doesn't make too much of a difference. I'm just going to march them over just to supply some support. Adrenaline's coming in now. Wolverine's from yellow. But look, he's like, help! No, my beautiful Spartan! No, I'm going to waste resources killing one hornet! No! And I realized, like, oh, wait, oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like, oh, no, dude, what the hell? Look, you're the one sat in your ass doing now. <laughs> oh, we get some lovely slang there in the uh, in the chat from Cyan. Lovely back back in the uh, Halo days, that is. Wow, gotta love it. Anyway, <laughs> they tell me to get out of the uh, the thingies because now they're all there, so there's no need to block them off. And I decide, since I'm almost max pop, to just fly in some marines. Marines reporting for duty. Helicopter 
try and get everything up. If I could take down the... I probably should have went for the, the vehicle depot, actually. But I decided to go for this. Even though a lot of the RPGs miss. I, I should have taken out the vehicle depot, though. I really should have. I think I, I underestimated how good... Oh, how not so good my marines were going to be. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, right, okay. Let's go for it. Ah! Oh, wait, it's still alive. Ah, oh, damn it. I have not. <laughs> and as you can see there, not the best play by me because I was not getting marines as they were dying. I probably could have had four, four squads or six squads out at the moment. And they could have came in. Because I know, I know for a fact that they're just going to put a heal beam down. So I just need to get up there as quickly as possible. And they come. And then just as that heal beam appears. <laughs> oh, but they die so quick. Look quickly. Again. Hit him again. Come on. I've got to take it down. But because it's the only thing healing, it just heals too quick. Yeah. Heals too quick. And I could have taken down the vehicle depot and stopped him from getting that. But I haven't even noticed the push from Yellow and Cyan, which has completely stopped them. And I'd say that's teamwork. Red was completely distracted with me. So allowing the other two team to take on the uh, the we already weakened purple. And there we go. I'm just going to shoot a little bit more. <laughs> I will get it. I promise. Sand's going for vampires there. A good call for the air. Well, the red completely specked into tanks, and that would have been helpful against those, but he was just too focused on attacking me. Local and yeah, I, I think that's a lot to say. Oh, wow. Like two RPGs. <laughs> At least with the grenades, they all go to the same area. RPGs, sometimes they just fly off. And I've got so many resources that, yeah, pelicaning is just like the best thing to do. I will get it. I will kill it. It will die. There you go. Most of them hit that time. That's great. Even more! Send them in! So the tanks actually defend against yellow. Yellow's retreating there a little bit. Oh, here they come. Even more. And there we go. A max pop. At this point, it's upgrades. I have a look around. See what's going on. And here it comes. Ooh! Oh, no. How about this time? One more. Yeah, there we go. And he can't make tanks anymore. Though, he he might have queued up loads there. So, I, I again, I think, lesson for the future. Go for the vehicle depot. Because even though I've taken that out, he's still making tanks. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't even kill him before he gets another one out. There it is. Up it goes. But he can't make any more, I suppose. Uh, that's, what that's what I keep telling myself. If I'd taken it down, I could have kept it down. But because it stayed up, he got to heal it. And there you go. Red, desperately, in the last death throws, trying to take out yellow. And I'm like, yes! A kill! Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, all three players did this tactic. And we had about six elephants within five minutes on the other side. I don't know. I think we'd be able to do it. And I see the gremlin. Gremlins are super weak. Gets taken out. That's going to really help the teammates. And there you go. RPGs doing incredible damage to a rotation turret there. Almost half health. And medic starts to come in now. Yes. And now I see. I'm, I'm losing. I'm still in the fight. But we'll make more to Pelican in later. And here we go. Come on. <laughs> Red is in a very, very dangerous situation. He's still got gremlins coming out, though. And, you know, Blue's trying his best, making Tech 1 or whatever it is, very low-level Hornets. And the tank decides it gets scared. It doesn't want to blow up. He doesn't want to lose it. I'm like, you coward. You coward. Come back here. No one runs away from my freaking Marines. <laughs> And I want to bring it back, so I run away. I'm like, come on, come on, come back. And just as my pelicans about it, yes, let's come in. Bring him over. He resigned. I was like, no, look. I want to hand you. Nah, on this course. 
Well, there you have it. At least I get to kill some hornets. I'm supposed to have the rock, paper, scissors an advantage. Medic is in now, so I'm doing even more damage. And they just melt. And there you go. I'd say that was a great way to Your use Marines. Maybe not the best way, but the only way I've found anyway. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. If you want to see more Halo Wars. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Whatever. Bye-bye. <laughs>